is, well, I mean, you saw it. It just didn't have very much explored. Oops. Actually, I still need to do this. I can't believe I freaking died. Jeez. Still just reeling from that. It's like, ugh. I was so close, too. If I had managed to select the shovel properly, I probably would have lived. Or at least I probably would have kept the majority of my loot. Because I could have just made myself a little like bunker and just survived but nope instead I just swam in lava because apparently uh, it deemed that it was time for me to swim in lava and it's like ugh, gosh I believe the phrase goes something along the lines of, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> I mean, by now it's getting to the point where it's not really that much of a problem that I died because I have all of this stuff prepared where I can just kind of go out and, you know, resupply. I don't need to worry about it constantly. Instead, I can just go out, grab my spare suit, and go retrieve what I can of my previous inventory, and then just kind of, you know, make do with what I have, I guess. What else am I going to do, right? There's all kinds of things that 
could be uh, could be done here to really upgrade my situation. Um, it really would help a lot if I had shulker boxes. I could really use some shulker boxes because the amount of storage and transportability of a shulker box, uh, like, yeah, it's just one storage chest worth of storage, but it's one storage chest worth of storage in a single square of inventory space. Which is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, because you can then mix that with your ender chest, and then now you've got a entire storage chest that you can just save anywhere, you can take it anywhere. You know, that storage goes across dimensions, no one else can open it except you, it's great. But like, in the meantime, yeah. So yeah, the it's, it's looking like the village uh, is not going to be on the map. Uh, that villager trading hall section is, but that villager trading hall section is also, uh, not actually a, uh, accurate representation of where it's safe to build a villager trading hall. Um, you really want to build these things away from everything and just, like, have a rail cart going there or something like you, you need something obviously but like this whole situation is just one big oof just oof Ah, storage space running out. Well, it's good to know that I uh, at least made it interesting. <laughs> yep. 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 So here's the village. Like, there's the town square. As you can see, I have been here. There's stone, there's dirt. There's a few locations here. There's at least three villagers in there, I believe. Uh, in that town, I mean. Not in a building. There's there's three villagers in the whole place. Like, the whole town. Um, I don't know why there are not very many villagers. But that is the closest village to my base. Uh, I think that's actually the closest village to spawn. Oops. Okay. Now that we've got that, we want to go visit the Iron Golem farm in order to retrieve the map data from over there. And then if the episode ends before I get back, I will just uh, end up returning over to the map room. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. It almost, almost took off without me. Okay. 
Now we're moving and grooving. Gotta light it up. <laughs> you know? Yep, you can see it on the map. This build is so massive. Here, let me get my cursor out of the way. My my token for where I am on the map. You can actually see like just how much progress we actually made on this thing. while we're at it, when we get down there, we can actually update the map. That one I'll do on camera, even if the episode ends. Like, I'll wait till next episode to do that if I have to. Um, yeah. Actually, I might do that next episode anyways. Uh, remember to like the, uh, like the videos, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments what kind of game you want me to play next like next uh, Obviously, I'll continue playing this survival single-player Minecraft, but what kind of game should I play for? Uh, you know expanding my my channel Because um, I can play space engineers once I get the Okay, look little <laughs> I can play Space Engineers once I get the laptop, like, functional. Uh, but I might want... might want to check the specs on Space Engineers, actually. Because uh, I might want to keep it a Windows operating system, if that's the case. But I still need to take the laptop in for repairs. On top of that, I still need to, uh, man, I lost that iron armor. All of those had protection on them. That's a bummer. It is really hard to find good iron armor. Uh, okay. Well, onwards to the string farm. Uh, I suppose uh, like I could play Space Engineers. Space Engineers is decent, but Space Engineers is another one of those games where it's kind of a slow burn where you're just like uh, you're you're slowly getting better at what you're doing. And it's like, well, what if I want to get better quicker? Well, Eh. Uh, but the upside to Space Engineers is I can use mods without, like, losing out on achievements. Like, that's awesome. Because um, they got some really nice mods for Space Engineers, and it's actually possible to modify the config files so that uh, you're able to store, like, uh, I think it was like a trillion tons in your inventory. It was like, wow, I can store everything. Because uh, if you modify the config files, you can make it so that uh, you can store like 500 times normal. And that's just awesome. Okay, so this would get me... Uh, what would get this get me? This would get me armor. This would get me bones. This would get me bows. And 
that's about it. Um, oh, and arrows. They, they drop arrows. So I'd have unlimited arrows, unlimited bone meal, unlimited bones, unlimited bone blocks. Uh, I would have any kind of bow that I really wanted. Uh, but everything would still be spawning and that's kind of annoying. Uh, I want to stop everything from spawning at the moment. I want to just kind of put string everywhere because I don't want to half slab everything. But I additionally don't want to have everything just constantly spawning. Uh, I'll probably use carpet actually. Uh, let's see, where was, oh right, it's over here in the, the magma block bubble elevator. This bubble column is, is really good stuff. Uh, as you can see, this place is very well lit because... These spiders just love to spawn. What I need is I need some form of collection and kill chamber. Therefore, I actually need to go back to the golem farm because I need the water buckets. I shall return to that, lo to that farm with the water buckets Assuming that uh, I managed to... Actually, it's faster this way. Uh, assuming that the video does not run out of storage. And apologies for it not lasting the full hour. That's just kind of size limitations. Sorry. Um, but, you know... Uh, I, I try to play everything on camera as best I can, and apologies for the conversation that you're hearing from my dad in the background. <clears throat> He's talking on the phone while I'm recording. Um, he got a call from one of his friends. Okay, we have the water buckets right over here. I want to hop out here, run over here, grab the water buckets. I will grab two, leaving two here. And then I want to hop in the minecart. I can tell the video is just about to end any moment now because of the lag. <laughs> uh, I shall see you guys back at base, obviously. Uh, and remember, again, to leave a like on the video. I know I said it once already, but it does actually help a lot. Yes, yes, I'm aware of that. And they won't let me update until I update Minecraft. But I know that already. And on top of that, um, I just want to say, before the video ends, uh, remember to stay safe. Because uh, if you, you know, if, if you remain safe, remember to remain safe. Keep yourself safe. Uh, keep others safe as well because you know if everyone's safe then the world's a better place it's that simple really it really is I did not need to go all the way back to this base but I did anyways Okay. 
Uh, I'll actually leave the minecart in there. And while at it, I will pull the fuel out of these furnaces. That way, they don't just run constantly. Yeah. Uh, Additionally, I probably want to, uh, no, I'll actually include light sources in this thing. That way, no other monsters spawn. I don't want reduced spawn rates or anything for the spider spawner after all. Go ahead and hop in the bed real quick. Yeah, you can really see the difference that having the respiration makes. Because you just, you suffocate so quickly. Oh my god, I, I want to go this way. I want to go this way. That's right. Let me just go up here. And then through here. Now... I can go...